All right, hello everyone, Alzeon the Great here. Welcome back to League of Legends Manager on MOBA GM. Today is a little bit of a shorter video, at least I think, I, I'm gonna hope. But today is the off season, as uh, the season officially ended. Like this, SI went 0-22, great start as uh, Paladin Esports ended up taking the finals over Quantum and has put our first thing in the our first uh, line here in the summer history. Now I do want to say it does say runner up to Primal Gaming. Uh, basically there's uh, there's this kind of glitch in the game, I don't know if it's a glitch or not, where the third place team will be often called the runner up instead of the second place team. I have no idea why, but we'll all know it was Quantum, not Primal. Because if we go to Team Records, you can see who has a final and who has a championship, and that is 100% correct. This is never not. Well, okay, maybe not 100% correct, but still. I mean, if it were a final, it's like I guess it's technically a final, but it's stupid. It's really stupid. But anyway, we are here. But yeah, last year in the league was bad. Obviously, least amount of wins, most losses, least kills per game, uh, most deaths per game, least assists per game, and the only team to have less than 20, and we had 7 assists per game. So yeah, that's bad. We have a .7 KDA as a team. <laughs> so yeah, to say the least, this SI Gaming roster did not Right now, here is what our roster would look like if we just went into the next season automatically, no free agency. Sowers, Angerian, Kirchhoff, CJL, and Flipper. Here is everyone we can re-sign with uh, mid laner Scalibur, AD Kiri Rounder, and uh, top laner Q-Man. So, Jordan Petty, Scalibur. He played six games, he didn't win. There isn't really a reason for me not to re-sign him, but you know, considering season, considering the season we just had, I think it would be interesting if we brought him back. But you know, he's an 18, he's an 18 year old. This is rookie season. He's 18 year old. He has 88 potential. I think we're gonna bring this back, and I'll adjust contracts after this season. But Scalibur, because I don't like the contracts. I guess in this game, this is way too much, in my opinion, for a backup. But, uh, Scalibur, this is how the contract system works. You're going one year for a lot of money, two years for medium, and three years with the lowest in will go. I think we're going to sign Scalibur to a three-year deal, just simply because he's 18 and has plenty of potential ahead of him. So he'll be 21 when that contract expires. As far as uh, Rounder and Q-Man, I think we're going to let him go. Q-Man's 20, doesn't have a whole bunch of... Uh, time left to develop. Rounder is also 20, and although he has 70 potential, and he started mostly for us last year, started quite a lot of games. 19. He started all but three games, basically, la uh, last year. I think we're just going to let him go. I don't know why he wanted to sort of read it. But anyway, those are our free agents. Here are the upcoming free agents. With Datafuse, Zupdog, and Royal Sin being the best, but there are certainly better ones, or, or not better ones, but there's certainly notable names out there who could potentially be out there in free agency, such as Death, Southern, Dark, Anaid, who led the league in CS, by the way, Miker as well on Paladin, but we shall see what, you know, SI will look like heading into next year, but here is our roster for this season. Now, Basically, here's how I'm going to do this for every single team. Since it's my league and I can control what teams do, in this league, every team will have 10 players. It really doesn't matter how good the players are, it doesn't really matter how bad the players are, every single team will have 10 players. That is a guarantee. So as of right now, and just also they'll have you know two in each role, they won't have three in each role. But as of right now, we need everything but a mid laner. <laughs> so we need support, 80 carry, jungle, and top. 
we are looking for you know potential starters at 80 carry and support a younger jungler and somebody maybe to take over top lane in the future but not necessarily so let's go see what free agents are available all right so here is who is available in free agency now i kind of goofed up a little bit i did not change the god mode contracts to what i thought they were already which is 100, 100 uh, minimum, which is not at all what's going to happen. And then 5,000 maximum. Now, I think this is actually $100 minimum as the base contract is worth going, but it basically makes it so I can adjust it to where I want it to be. Unfortunately, that uh, didn't happen. Most of these people are asking for around 30 to 40, which is fine. I don't really mind that, but, you know, Data Fuse Royal, say, in Southern were asking for, I think Data Fuse asking for, like, almost 400,000 a season. Royal Sun, maybe 300 in Southern, I think it's like that, 150 or something. And as you can see, uh, prior is at 102k. And yeah. Also, people like uh, Zhou Shang Bilaren was at like 300 as a rookie, and that's not going to work. So basically, how this is going to work is I'm going to sign a player, sim 3 days. That's how I'm going to try and keep it balanced. Right now, bot lane, jungle, and top lane are our, our uh, you know, things we're looking for. There's a couple good ones, uh, a couple good AD carries out here right now. Karatis and Amanatsu. There's also Cowboy, Bobage, the Zeke, the Lauren, obviously Data Fuse Royals and Southern, but I can't sign them just yet. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to... Basically, performance-based thing here, probably not gonna sign anyone like 20 or up if i can manage it you know unless you know they're like the zeke who's like 25 and you know, doesn't have a whole bunch of years ahead of him but yeah basically just trying to do this off performance seeing as we were the worst team last year did i take a picture of this because if i didn't then well i have my top five prospects but i don't have any <laughs> uh so no i don't but seeing as we were 0 and 22 last year, I think it would make sense to sign AC Dervish, the top prospect in the class, three years, and I'll adjust this contract at the end of the season. You'll see that there. But we sign Tornado to the roster. Let's see, as far as someone else, let's go for the second page here in terms of who we should sign. But yeah, like I main. Like, 137k as a rookie? No. As a 48 overall rookie, too? No. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, so, I'm looking for a support. Let's see. We're going to sign Mertz to a two-year deal. So, that is our new bot lane. Tornado and Mertz. And the reason I'm signing Mertz is I'm trying not to... Actually, I didn't sign, so I guess I'll sim a week here. I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. Usually I don't sim at all. I just sign everyone on the first day and then sim to trade and see the next day. But we'll sim a week because I forgot to do that. You know, it's okay. So Tornado and Mertz have been brought in. Yes, we sim one week. Unfortunately, it goes really fast in this game, so we'll have to see. That was a day. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not simming a week, so four, five, six, seven. So Data Fuse and the other person got signed, <laughs> but Royal Sit is still out there. Uh, Southern got signed, so Data Fuse and Southern are off the board. So now, let's see, let's get a, let's get our young jungler filled out here. Let's get our young jungler. We're gonna sign Keith. Crazy Sims. He will not start over Angerian, at least right now. But yeah, there's that. And I think we signed a lot of three-year deals, so let's sign a one-year deal for a top player. Obviously, after the Sim. I'm going to Sim, you know, a week, since I only have one player left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Royal Sit is still out there. <laughs> But he'll, he'll find a team. I'll guarantee he'll be on a team by the uh, by three seasons. But yeah. So we're looking for 
a top lane for a season. Uh, we shall sign Kelvin Green Beekser to a one year deal. And there we go. That is SI Gaming's roster. Although we won't know who is starting for this season, but we'll find out if we're going to sim the rest of free agency. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut out, go edit the teams and all the, you know, contracts to where I believe they need to be. And then I will come back and we will recap free agency. All right, everyone. We are into 2020's preseason, and here is what SI Gaming's roster looks like. We hit Auto Sort. Our starting roster for next year will be Sowers, Angerian, Kirchhoff, Tornado, and Flipper. Nobody jumped up in overall, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, Sowers went up 2, Kirchhoff up 6, Tornado up 3. Flipper actually went up 14 and still has 99 potential, so that's exciting. But the new additions, uh, Vixe only went up 4, he won't take over for Sours anytime soon. Crazy went down 1, and Hertz also went down 1. Scalibur went up 2, but he is still not going to be the starter for this upcoming season. But as we can see, SI didn't really get much better in the offseason, but they have, a, I guess, a little bit more stable of a bot lane now <laughs> with uh, Tornado and Flipper, but the rest of the roster, well, with Tornado, I don't think Flipper played last year, he did not, so yeah, we we'll, we promote Flipper, we sign Tornado, and the rest of the roster is as it is. Let's go look at some other teams, as we'll go bottom to top this time. Actually, we've already looked at Jade Crown. Well, too late now. But yeah, we'll look at other rosters in a moment. Okay, so now we have the official starting rosters. Or, well, not official starting rosters, but the projected starting rosters. Every team heading into next year. Let's go look at them. First off is Jade Crown Gaming. Their big addition this offseason was uh, Billy Teratus Jones, who uh, played with PMG. I don't recognize this name. Primal Gaming. Played with Primal Gaming last year. Obviously the third place match winner. It's a Soul Attack Bomb, SS, and Type-0 still going to start, or at least projected for Jade. Obviously for SI we've already gone over our stuff. Sours, Angerian, and Kirchhoff still here. Tornado. It's signed, Flipper gets promoted right into that. Crimson Moon had the huge addition of Royal Sid, as he did get signed. They also got a coup, I guess, and re-signed Southern. So Crimson Moon now has a legitimate bot lane to challenge the top teams of the league. It looks like Talon will still start in the mid lane, as well as Moscow starting in the jungle. They also brought in rookie Isaiah Fictivi Stokes. We head over to Crystal. They are the team that signed Vincent Datafuse Kennedy to that 100k deal to be their starting top player. Ganjamas will start in the jungle. Death still there in the mid lane. Anide is also at 80 carry, and they brought in Murphy Dulsack Acker, the rookie at support. 207 Shock is next, with Spincy and Rap still on the team in the top lane, so as well as NYT, but their bot lane looks a little bit different, as Roger Amanatsu Bowler, previously bot, or the 80 for Lunar Wolves, is now playing for them, as well as Julius Cowboy Calhoun, who played for Primal Gaming. We already know Primal has a new bot lane this season. Imperium Aces protect the starting roster. Uh, is with Freddy Bobaj Hanlon, who was a backup on Silver Dragons last year. They also signed Isaiah Faceless Fields, who was the starting jungler for Silver Dragons last year. And the Aether Wolves have three new players. They are starting two rookies, Omari Corvin Johnson and Jason Bobo Smith, 
They also signed the Zeke Billman in the mid lane, back up for Jade Crown last year. They will still be rolling with Spring and Smokey at a uh, AD carry and a support. For Primal, obviously they needed to sign a new bot lane, but they decided to promote from within their system. As Tavares Updog and Magigad are still starting, they will start Duelant and Paint at here in the bot lane spot. So yeah, Primal keeps within their organization. Excalibur kept Sani, as they also have Mohinder, so starting in the jungle. They signed Matthias Fryer uh, Kingombe, who was the starting mid laner for Aether Wolves last season. They obviously kept 475 and Sieza with the support in AD carry. That's them. Silver Dragons, I believe, are the only team to retain all of their starters, I think. As Lifeform, Doll, Mashin, Exceller, and Lokina are all still starting for the Silver Dragons. For Quantum, they also kept all their starters Stake here, Rakusa, Shushank, and Delhi. Although, when I did auto generate or auto do their roster to you know, get everything in position, Arwan was the starter in the auto thing, but I think Delhi should start. If he doesn't, then hey, maybe Quantum will do better than they did it last year. And the defending champs, Paladin, keep their roster together. They keep Rusty, they re-sign Dark, they keep Miker, obviously. Sander and Milikos, still the bottom. So yeah, I think uh, SI still definitely has a little bit ways to go before we head up to the top. Let's look at the power rankings starting this season. The number one overall team is Paladin. Your number one team in MMR is Crimson Moon, which just went to a whole bunch. And your number one team in talent base and overall is Paladin. We are 10-12-10, so I think we we're basically in the same spot we were last year, which is a bit terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, not exactly sure if we're going to have any changes whatsoever. Also updated, Champion Patch. <laughs> it's the Champion Patch, and in this top, in this meta, top lane, Nar and Renekton are the big, are the big ones. Followed by a pretty diverse jungle. Graves, J4, Kane, Andrew, Nidley, and Nunu. Was Jin Zhao. Camille can also flex just a slight bit. In the mid lane, it's Anivia, Lucian, the big one, at 80 carry and support. The Vizier and Brand as well up there. Yeah, pretty wide open mid lane. 80 carry, obviously, we've already mentioned Lucian. Lots more options now compared to last year. And then support, same thing. Lots more options. Yeah, just the. Meta opened up, I guess you could say. But SI Gaming is looking for their first ever win in team history next year. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.